Is it safe to install the beta of macOS? And should I do it right now, before the official release? Yes and yes. All of the other similar video was about this topic, or even the official Apple website, will be mostly scaring you and telling you not to do that. That's their disclaimer, trying to get rid of the responsibility if something doesn't work the right way for you. But on this channel, I am always honest with you, and I can easily tell you there is nothing to be afraid of. If you really want to start using the new features of macOS right now, don't be afraid and install the beta software. Yes, there might be some small issues, but nothing really serious. I'll talk about them further in this video. But now let me guide you through the whole installation process, how to enroll your device and how to install the newest beta version of macOS Sequoia. Just to note, I'm not talking about the developer's beta, which comes straight out of the box after the Apple conference. This is the public beta we are trying to install. And that's already quite smooth in system, which is coming later in July or August. And now, by the beginning of September, this is already a fifth update of the beta. So it is really without any issues. Honestly, this year I haven't noticed a single thing, single graphical mistake or anything around it. If you will install it and notice something, you can tell me about it in the comments. But myself, I still haven't found anything. The macOS public beta is available to anyone with a compatible Mac. And you don't need any developer's account for it. So all you need to do is to open up the Apple beta software program website. I will type it in the description of this video. So you can just click on the link there. And it will take you to this website. And sign up with your Apple ID. Here, click on Android your devices and that's it. Now, before you start with the installation, check out if your device is compatible with the system. I will put the image on the screen so you can see it or you can check it out on the official website. Again, I will link it in the description below. But anyway, if your device is not compatible, then it will not allow you to download the new system. It will not offer you, so you can easily skip this step. And the second step I'm skipping as well is to make the backup. But if you feel the need or you have some very sensitive data you are afraid of, just drop them on your external drive. And now we can actually start with the installation of macOS Sequoia. There are two different ways depending on the system you are coming from. If you are using older system than macOS Ventura, you will have to download the macOS Beta Access Utility. You can download it right here from the same website. Open it in your downloads folder and just follow the instructions. But I believe that most of us are actually updating from the latest version of macOS Ventura. And Apple made it now really simple to do it. So to use the beta version of macOS Sequoia, you don't need an installer. You don't need to download anything. Just go to System Settings, General, Software Update, and here click on the Info button next to Beta Updates. Once it opens, select macOS Sequoia Beta and it will automatically search for the update. I don't want to sound so one-sided and fully recommend you installing the beta software. Now we have a little bit of time while it's downloading in the background, so we can talk about the potential issues. The first one is that every update brings some major changes. In the previous system, it was the fully redesigned system settings. So you had to really go through the process of learning all new things. So if you feel that you are not so sure and you are not fully committed of giving up your all the known system, then you might little bit wait for it to settle down and install it later. Also know that this is not a final version. It might still have some bugs. It might be small graphical issues, some different lines, overlapping icons and things like that. Also, some apps might be slow or even crash, even though it's not happening very often. But what also happens is the fact that some of the apps might not be optimized for the new system, especially if you are using some third-party applications downloaded from the internet. So the developers might have not yet updated it to the new system and the app might not be working well. I was for example using the old version of Final Cut, my number one application on the Mac, and it was not working after reinstalling to the beta of macOS Sequoia. So I had to straight away update the Final Cut in order to work on the new system. And that can happen with some other applications as well. So I just want to note all of these potential issues which might come with the beta software. But this is nothing major, 
nothing which would really risk of losing your data or crashing the system. So I still think there is nothing to worry about and we can proceed with installation. I can see on the background that it's already all downloaded. This whole process will depends on your internet speed. The system itself has around 15 GB, so it will take some time to download it. But once it's all done and prepared, your Mac will restart. Here you really don't need to do anything, just let it install. Only make sure you have enough power if you are doing it on the battery. And also don't close the lid or anyhow interfere with the installation. After a while, the Mac will boot up again and you will be a new macOS Sequoia. Actually, you will be in the beta of macOS Sequoia. Now what is new in this version of macOS? Quite a few things. So let me dive deep into that and bring you all the information, guides and tutorials in the upcoming videos. So if you want to be there and don't miss anything, click on the subscribe button. And in that case, I'll see you in the next video.